There's an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> Munson moves to amend House Bill number 495 as amended. The amendment is coded A19-0316. Representative Munson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Third time is definitely going to be a charm here. I can feel it. So this bill gives Representative Noor uh, everything he wants here, except if a tenant and a landlord want to agree in writing that this flexibility should be allowed so that the landlord can lower the rent, especially when we're dealing with tenants that have special needs. They, they need an apartment that's month to month. And landlords want to give them that accommodation so long as their notification period is longer so they can look for tenants. All I'm asking here is that two private citizens be allowed to agree in writing, in a contract, in, with disclosure to the tenant so that they know what they're signing. That's all we're asking, for a private contract so that a, a landlord can make reasonable accommodation with tenants to lower the cost of rent in exchange for the tenant giving them a longer notice period because they have a special need that they're asking the landlord to meet. This provision just asks that the tenant be allowed to have this in writing and say, I agree, I agree that I, I, am, I, am, I am giving you more notice in exchange for lower rent. That's all that I'm asking. I, I, I'm, this, this bill is going to have a, a major change on rental in Minnesota. You're going to have more vacancies and you're going to increase the cost of rent on tenants around the university and everywhere across Minnesota by taking this important flexibility away from landlords and tenants to negotiate a private contract. Here's big government moving in. This is where government starts creating problems and then two, four years from now we'll come back and, and, and wonder why we're having all these vacancies. Why is the vacancy rate going up to seven or eight percent in Minnesota? Why are, why are landlords having to pay more money for commercial loans for properties because they're based on your vacancy rate. Every year I have to report to the bank what my vacancy rate is. And I don't get to have 30-year loans on properties. They come back and renegotiate that rate and it's based on my vacancy rate. And if tenants get to give me 30 days notice on a month-to-month -month lease that they're moving out, it doesn't give me time to go find tenants to fill properties. So now you're increasing the cost of doing business in Minnesota. And guess what? Other states don't have this kind of junk in their laws. So, other st so when you have real estate investment trusts and other large investors in, in property, they're not going to invest in Minnesota. We sit in committee and hear, why are we building more affordable housing in Minnesota? And it's junk like this that's keeping people out of our state, and it's going to take people who have rental properties who decide, you know what, it's not worth it anymore. Why would I want to have all of this risk? Why would I want to keep on raising rents on my tenants to a cover all these losses. So this bill simply says that you're allowing private individuals to negotiate a private lease as long as this is called out and the tenant waives this, this ability and that they, they say that they can have a longer notice period. That's all we're asking. So please vote yes on this bill, on this amendment. Madam Speaker, I'd ask for a roll call as well. Representative Munson requests a roll call. Are there 15 hands? There are 15 hands. There will be a roll call. Representative Noor. Madam Speaker and members, a tenant should never, ever sign a waiver when it comes to leases, especially given under this provision. The tenant does not write the lease, the landlord writes the lease. So there is a balance of power whereby the landlord has got more powers over the tenant. So I ask you to vote red on this amendment. 